The Indian Premier League has been a hotbed for controversies right from the word go. And to many of its loyal viewers, the buzz of the field has been one of the factors that made the cricketainment even more interesting. Be it one player slapping another, a team owner getting banned from a stadium, players getting caught in rave parties or teams getting scrapped. But this is the first time the drama has unfolded bang in the middle of the cricket pitch, questioning the very credibility of this $3 billion property. With the game itself under scrutiny, what's the future for IPL? Can brand IPL withstand yet another thunderstorm or has it been tainted beyond repair? Well, in all likelihood, the brand may fight all odds and make a grand comeback, but it cannot escape the repercussions. Tara Kapoor brings to four just that. The curtains have been drawn on yet another IPL. But even as the Mumbai Indians bask in the glory of lifting their first ever IPL trophy after six long years, a dreary cloud of controversy shrouds the tournament yet again. And while a quick recap will tell you that controversy and IPL have gone hand in hand ever since the tournament's inception in 2008, this one is the mother of them all. Cases of spot fixing that have percolated from cricketers to Bollywood to the BCCI itself. But India is a country that is infamous for its short term memory. And with 11 months to go before IPL 7, the big That's question is whether everything will be forgiven and forgotten the same way it has in the past, or is this the beginning of the end for brand IPL? This is serious for, for the IPL, and they have got to sort it out in the next few weeks, otherwise the credibility of the tournament and the people that support it, the franchise owners, the, the, the sponsors, the broadcasters, are going to start to, to question the amount of money they're putting into the tournament. We have the next eight to ten months I think, and BCC obviously, you know, will do enough to ensure that it never gets repeated in the future. The basic ingredients of IPL are still very, very strong and that's not changed. But don't get us wrong, we aren't saying that IPL will not happen and that viewers and sponsors won't associate with the tournament anymore. Cricket in India is after all a religion. But what we are saying is that for many sponsors, especially MNCs, IPL is now too tarnished as a property and many big companies are giving it a rethink. While most brands refuse to come on record to discuss this hot topic, global companies like Pepsi and Citibank are a worried lot and are planning to renegotiate their contracts for the coming year. The impact for a head and shoulders or a Pepsi could be global out of if, if, if they're supporting something which is so corrupt and so messy in India, the, this is being seen across the world. So Pepsi then starts looking like a dodgy brand. If you're putting your money, you, you're expecting certain amount of consistency, transparency and delivery, which I don't think the multinationals are going to get for some time. Global brands, uh, which are very particular about uh, the arena in which they operate in, and if there's any taint towards it, uh, they probably wouldn't associate it. Brands are definitely going to take a, a rethink on the advertising uh, strategy for IPL and whether to back it or not. Yeah? And, and I know of a lot of brands, at least three brands of us, who've also come to us and said, Pradap, you know, should we be doing uh, seven? Uh, and those discussions are on. This is after we've seen big brands like Hero, DLF and LG sever their associations with the tournament in the past. And mind you, these are all brands that are sports enthusiasts and are usually willing to dole out the big bucks especially when it comes to cricket. You know, when some brand is pulling out, either Hero pulled out or, you know, you know somebody else like Citibank pulled you know, those are compelling financial decisions because it depends upon their, uh, you know, what, they, what their priority is, where do they want to invest in, in sports. You know, for Hero now, the big priority is outside India because they're expanding the markets outside India. So they need to invest. Uh, you know, eventually the, the part of the money is still the same. So you'll pull out from some, put it somewhere else. Mr. N. Srinivasan, the president of the Board of Control for Cricket in India. And if you thought the crowd at Eden Gardens booing BCCI President Srinivasan at the IPL finale was bad enough, on the global stage, the picture is a lot worse. 
Globally, almost all sport and sporting platforms have been tarnished by some controversy or the other, and some of the biggest names, from Lance Armstrong to Mike Tyson to Tiger Woods, have damaged the image of their sport because of the games they've played. But in all these matters, the issues at hand were dealt with quickly and in a transparent manner. It never took six years for them to clean up their act. If you take sex and scandal, Tiger Woods comes right out in front. Three years ago, he was caught with his pants down and, well, you know, his brand value just plummeted. And then now suddenly, he's back to number one. If you look at match fixing, this has been a problem for Italian, for Spanish, for German, for all the football leagues in the world. And all of them have managed, in spite of the value erosion due to match fixing, to come out of it. The question is, the sports bodies have moved swiftly and taken quick, decisive action and killed or taken whatever route they had to take and that's how those sports came out of it. Uh, if you talk of the EPL or some of the other, or NBA, those have been around for many years. You know, they've got decades of legacy. They've had their roller coaster ride. They've stabilized to the extent now that the brand itself doesn't get affected even if shenanigans happen. The trust in the brand itself, the brand has become like an oak tree, the EPL. So, it's not easy to shake that. That stage has not yet been reached by the IPL. For IPL, the only thing that has been consistent beside the scam and controversy is the fact that year on year, the tournament has never been able to clean up the mess. A huge tragedy because if there ever was a sports tournament that could take India to the world stage, this was it. But instead of crowning India as the king of cricket, it's been viewed more as the court jester. There are a lot of people who, who will want to see it fail because it, it, the calendar in, intervenes with a lot of international cricket. There's been a reasonable amount of resentment from other countries and, and particularly countries where players have been taken to play in the IPL, um, weakening the international sides because they can't afford to pay them as much money as the, as the players are paid at the IPL. So there is a there is a body of, of resentment to the IPL. So the, the, it, it won't take much for people to start questioning its credibility, its future, and, it, and its standing in the world game. The silver lining for all the stakeholders involved with the IPL is the fact that at least for the next few years, cricket is the staple diet for most viewers. And while the TVIs for the tournament have dipped consistently over the years, a 2.9 rating is still pretty good. But as the popular saying goes, you are only as good as the company you keep. And with the quality of brands diminishing every year, so is the equity of the tournament itself. And this would put the ball back in the advertiser's court, who will have much more negotiating power going forward. They will all wait in October, November to see what is the mood of the nation, what uh, is their feeling on cricket. And if they find that you know the mood yet continues to remain negative, the bookies and the uh, you know, uh, the controversy which is going on just now. If the sentiment is uh, yet bad, I guess at least 20%, we will hope that the rates will go down. IPL's promise no longer stands as tall as it did six years ago. And with every passing edition, advertisers seem to find themselves in a dilemma even larger than the year before. Both BCCI and Sony, IPL's official broadcaster, have a lot to worry about. Don't forget the broadcast rights for IPL go up for sale again in 2017. The big question is whether this property that was supposed to at least double in valuation will manage to rake in even half of what it sold for.